Okay, start your fan now. <laughs> Time to congratulate our newest WUSA 9 Eco Challenge winner. A few weeks ago, we asked middle school teachers to submit their environmental project ideas for a chance to win $5,000 from Washington Gas. And the money will be used to make those projects a reality. Yeah, and I had the honor of heading out to Prince George's County to surprise some of the yeah. students and staff at Akakik Academy. <laughs> way to go, y'all, way to go. We have Ms. Charleston, Ms. Lewis, and Mr. Williams here with us today. Y'all know what's happening here? No. Oh, wait, one of you don't, you don't know? <laughs> so, Everybody kept top secret. So you all, applied for our Eco Challenge with WUSA 9, and we are letting you know that Akakik Academy is one of our winners. Congratulations! As an eighth grade science teacher, an integral part of our curriculum is for our students to get engaged with environmental activism. So we're seeing the fruits of the work that the teachers here at Akakik are, are putting in, and we're seeing the blossom by this opportunity. This is awesome. All right, y'all, so we have another surprise for you. It doesn't end there. I gotta bring in my good friend, Andre Francis, with Washington Gas. All right. On behalf of Washington Gas, we'd like to present you guys with this $5,000 check for your environmental project. Congratulations. When it comes to going green, Akakik Academy is ahead of the class. Not only do we plant in our community garden and they share the fruit and they share the vegetables with everyone, they also do a lot of planting in the front to help the community collecting up trash. It goes far beyond just gardening. They are amazing. We are definitely avid gardeners, but we are really earth friendly. Akakik Academy is one of Maryland's green schools where teachers empower students to practice environmental sustainability every day. Now we have the hydrate. Students transform this outdoor space into an expansive green living classroom filled with colorful flowers and vegetables. They will use the funds to grow their garden and outdoor classroom. What do you love most about this space? It helps me relax. It helps me just focus. I really like the sunflowers. They were really little when they um, when we first planted them and they have grown a lot, so that's my favorite part. I find it very relaxing and some parts also apply what we learned in class. I like how challenging it is because weeding and like taking out all the grass is really difficult. I am most proud of all the planting that I specifically did, but also all the planting that everybody else did, like the, um, the snapdragons right here. They're really beautiful and I just love them so much. So I'm really proud of the colors that pop. And as winners of the Eco Challenge, we have a feeling a lot more color will be popping in the future. Eco Challenge! Woo! Aren't they great? Well done, so, and that garden is gorgeous. Yeah, so it takes a lot of work, but you heard yeah. from some of the students there, they like to just go out there for quiet time as well. I love how invested they are yep, in Yep, they this. love it. Mm -hmm. So by the way, in addition to the $5,000, the teachers and students will be working with experts from the Smithsonian Science Education Center to plan out some of their other projects. What a great story, Zoe. And tomorrow at 6, Topper is going to head out and surprise some more Eco Challenge winners, this time in Northwest D.C. We'll be right back.